some students started school at home in front of a screen. Killeen ISD began virtual classes starting today, making this new school year much different than before. That's right. 25 News reporter Abby Loring spoke with KISD to find out how the first day of classes went. Today was not only about learning new teachers and classmates, it was also about learning new systems and technology. As kiddos begin a new school year, they'll greet their classmates through a laptop, at least for now. Colleen ISD knew the first day of school would have some hiccups as families adapt to the technology. We've had about 1,800 different requests today just for resetting and passwords. That's because these children have not engaged since March on that platform, so they probably forgot a password just like you and I do every day, and so it's only normal and human to need to have that password reset. We have a really large team working on that. Maya told KXXV that by noon, attendance for the first day showed 39,000 students had logged on. That figure will only grow, and KISD now has a team to help mitigate technical difficulties. We had a technology hotline. There is a specific campus line, and then after 5 p.m., so 5 until 8 p.m., we have another team of people from our technology service center that answers those calls. Altogether right now, there's probably over 300 people answering phone calls in the district, and there was about 620 this morning that were still waiting to be replied to and answered in voicemails, but we're working through that list. KISD says there is a learning curve, but they believe virtual learning will get better as students get more familiar with it. And just seeing the reaction of the kids seeing each other on a Zoom call the first day of school, I think while we miss our kids in person, that makes up for when they're walking through the halls and the doors the very first day. And we can't wait for September 8th when we are open to in-person instruction. Colleen ISD did say they want to remind everyone they are working to get back with everyone who has reached out needing help as soon as possible. For now, I'm Abby Loring, 25 News. Abby, thank you. Clean ISD hopes to start in-person instruction on September 8th, but how will that work exactly? Student participation will be required for a full five-day week. All students will receive health and safety training relating to minimizing the spread of COVID-19. If a student or staff member tests positive for COVID-19, they will be sent home. Plus, safety measures will be implemented, such as face coverings required for students and staff and increased cleaning practices. Students aren't the only ones going back to school this month. Some teachers from Coppers Cove are also getting lessons about teaching kids virtually.